Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome and welcome back again to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. My name is Paris and today I'm so happy to be having my bosses right over here. Yes guys, today we are at Paris YouTube channel. Yes. 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 Hello everybody, it's Rocio here. Nice to see you, thank you Paris for hosting us. You're welcome. Yes. yes. Hello guys, this is Marwa or I am Marwa and today we are at Paris YouTube channel for a serious or... For a serious conversation. Okay. conversation. <laughs> guys, we have been doing this since last year. I mm -hmm. think when... I think I told you this. I told you about about this last year. You told yeah. me about the idea, like in the party in November. Imagine, and to, today is the day that we are doing this. So, guys, on our today's video, we will be doing a couple tag question. How well do they know each other? Okay. Are you guys ready? <laughs> First, Rocio. <laughs> your, your birthday. Is <laughs> You already know that. Yes, okay. yes. And Rosie, do you know his birthday? Yes. Okay. 100%. I have a very good memory with all of those things. Oh yeah. wow. Rosie is much better. Uh, uh, maybe sometimes for me it's too much things, but maybe that's an excuse. Hey. Okay, let's go now. Okay, so guys, here we are. I have written down some questions right over here. And um let's start this now. Something in the partner's bucket list. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Maru we start with you. Something that you know is in Rocio's bucket list. Rocio wants to travel the world. Okay. And also, she wants to be like receiving a lot of brand endorsements, like wow. Lada, and uh -huh. things like that. That's her big dream. Wow. And also, uh, another dream is we want to live in Mexico at some point of our life. Uh -huh. Yes, and maybe buy a house next to the beach something. Eish. Is he correct? He's, he's correct. Oh! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ish. And also, uh, what else? Uh, she has a friend that she has to pay a thousand dollars. Uh huh. And that's all I know. A friend that she needs to pay a thousand dollars? The CEO has to pay that person one thousand dollars. Uh huh. That's yes. seven hundred fifty. Oh, seven fifty? Yes. Okay. yes. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Maria, you're getting but everything. It's not like a bucket list. Oh, no, like things to do. Bucket list means things to do. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was your... Uh, okay, okay. Things to do. Yes. I think for you, that's the big I know. That is what you yeah, know. Yeah, like the things are on my soon to do. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And now, Rocio thinks on Maro's bucket list. Okay, on Maro's bucket list, Antarctica. Mm -hmm. yes. He really is like one of his biggest dreams. Yeah. Um, he's... he's uh, on, on his very soon to do is uh, achieving his dream car also the safari car though yeah the watch safari his car. videos he's yeah talking about that um he wants kids so bad it's <laughs> on his bucket list to have many kids <laughs> what is yeah. many how yeah, many yeah, kids yeah. Ten, ten. <laughs> this house is too big ten. Ten. Rosie, are you ready for 10 kids? I don't know. It's my world ready for this. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if yeah. God replies to his answers. Yes. That's, that's more on God than me, actually. I yeah. want chaos in my house. Like, whoa, 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 come here. Yeah. You will take care of them. I want to see what Are you sure? When 10 kids. Outside. When they are small, that's where it's a lot of work. But once yeah. kids start like recognizing this is fire, this is this. Yeah. You'll enjoy there. Actually, you'll be sitting and telling them, bring me that chair. And they bring. <laughs> so that's what you want. Just sit here, sending your kids. when they're babies and we are sleeping and they start crying 3 a.m., you, you go, I would say. You're not there. <laughs> okay, I will employ more nannies. <laughs> yes, you need that. Okay. Oh my God, guys, this is getting elite. This is getting amazing. They know each other so well. Anyway, let's go to the next one. This one, I don't know if Mara will get it because, you know, sometimes men, with these kind of things they don't get much. Let's see. Where did you go on your first date? Now this one you say at the same time. Let's me let's see who will be the correct one. So when I say one, two, three, you say at the same time and see who is the right. Where you went on your first date. I forgot but I uh, but but it's a four letter one. It's just a name that is hard to remember. <laughs> but I don't you consider that like our first date? 
not like super, that's not our official first date, but if it's, it's another one, I still remember it was, uh, 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 I was staying in a hotel called Lucero, mm -hmm. just opposite. Yeah. That's where we had a small first. restaurant. Oh, it was like um, a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Yes. That was there. But this uh, four letter place is called El Nene. It's a restaurant in, in one area in Puerto Escondido. El Nene, yes. Yeah. Nene. And four words. Yes. Because actually, when. So, and this is funny, but when we met, uh -huh. you know, he invited me for lunch. Yeah. You know? And he said, okay, where should we go? Mm -hmm. And I was in this in this mood like, okay, you should find a place and yes. let me know. I meet you there. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I don't know very well the place because I'm traveling. But what do you think about this place? Okay, well, can we meet here? Yeah. And I'm okay, okay. And it turns out that that place was right opposite of his of his <laughs> hotel. Like he didn't even move. Yeah. So the thing <laughs> so, is, yeah, hey. the was, uh -huh. Rocio had lived in the city when yeah. I met her yeah. the town. She had been there for years, maybe one or two years. Yeah. Me, it was not my first time to be there, mm -hmm. but at least I think this place had good food. Just yes. right opposite, because I was staying where everything kind of is. So yes. this one, this one that he remembers, Elene, is, mm -hmm. is, is the one. It was the one that I chosen. Oh. Okay. Because I said, okay, this time you come over my area. Uh -huh. This time I made him come like five minutes from my house. <laughs> This time you will move and let's go here. Yeah. Because it's just nice. Oh wow. <laughs> Guys, did you know that? And guys, as you are playing these games, you can also be playing with your partner. Let's see how well do you know each other. Yes. And guys, our next question. When is your anniversary? Um officially, officially. Yes. Me, I don't know the date. Hey. But I know the month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. I feel like I don't, I don't know a day, a special. But day. if I see on my Instagram, I can remember. You can remember the anniversary, yes. but you remember the month. Yes. The month, yes. Yeah. But I don't feel like we have an official date because just no. things were flowing like blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah just suddenly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So which is the month? So the month don't is. Mara, you don't know. What are you sure you know? The month. I don't remember when I was in Mexico. Yeah. The Everything month is, was. I have to remember the events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the month was between August and September. Yeah. Because then he traveled. He no, came it was actually uh, July. July. Yes, July. July. Yes, end of July, around July, end of July. Okay. Because after that, I went. Because you came here to in September. Yes, right? I came home in September. Yeah. September, around September 9th. So, and I spent three weeks in uh, in uh, Jamaica. Okay, and one week three weeks in, in the States. So it was States. one month. Yeah. Yeah. So in July, so July. July. July around there. Okay. Yes. Yes. So July it is, in case you want to surprise them with the anniversary, you know the month already. It's July. But again, we will uh, counter check. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so guys, July is the anniversary month. I am. So right now, who was interested first in each other? Also, the other one is like, this is my future wife, this is my future husband. Who was interested first? Oh, that one is hard to tell. Who's so I tell? think it was a mutual... Mutual connection. Attraction. Yeah. But then I can say that he was the one... Yeah, me, I, I, had to make, I had to make the move. I honestly yeah. liked Rocio from the art group. Yeah. I think I liked her head, the small head. <laughs> Then now you can see with my hair. <laughs> right now, with the hairstyle, you can see the smallness. It's small, it's small. I was like, ah, this one. Uh -huh. uh, it's my time. So you went for her? Yeah, and, and uh, actually, our first conversation was not even about. It was supposed to be a date. Yeah. But it turned out we were talking like other things, like making money, I don't know what. And YouTube and things and like YouTube this. And things yeah. like that. Yeah. But I, actually, I was hiding a little. Uh, did I tell you actually like I was a YouTube? Yes, because I told you I have a YouTube channel even before you told me. Like you told me I'm a content creator and things like this, and I was telling you about my life. I'm a no, singer. You I'm a content no. creator, or I told you like I, I, I edit videos on like like. Uh, no, no. So first, I know like you were a content creator. Okay. You were telling me that, and I told and I told you about my project because at that moment I just started my podcast. 
and I told him my ch I have my YouTube channel also, I'm a singer, I do this, blah blah so he was like, okay, I have a YouTube channel as well so with the conversations just Because wow. most of the time uh, when I'm meeting a new girl in my life, I never tell her what I do yeah. I never, because sometimes people can easily judge you from online you know, they will go there and say, yeah, yeah. oh, I am married with this and they yes. say, meet lazy, lazy gang and somebody will have a very wrong Impression of you. Impression of you and yeah. you're not that person. True. So most of the time I tend to when me I somebody asks me what's my job, I tell them I I edit videos for like big YouTubers, things like that. Yeah. So I, I bring them close to what I do but I never tell them like I'm a YouTuber. Then you because, tell them later. Yeah, because that, that some people get excited with likes and yeah. fame. So that you cannot really know who is who is genuine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so guys have you heard that so the next question who is more organized uh, Russia is very organized so yeah uh, actually me i'm totally opposite <laughs> organized. Russia knows everything uh -huh. in the house but you don't know everything, everything. Uh -huh. uh, me, i know like if i go there i can maybe see chocolate <laughs> I don't, uh, Russia now she takes her time yes. wow yes. At least, right now we're not always more organized. Yeah, Rosio is very organized. Me, I'm, I'm totally the opposite. I'm happy with clean space, organized space. And yeah, yeah, yeah. If there is a lot of mess, mm -hmm. I don't feel good, you know, so I need to clean and organize all the time. The only thing I check for me is the bed is made. made yeah. That's, yeah. That's the only thing I check. Yeah. yeah. I think there is something with the ladies. We love clean spaces. You yeah. know, like we don't like like dirtiness or anything. Even for me, like I'm like before I leave my house, I should make sure it's clean. Yeah. When yeah. I go back, I go back to a clean house. Yeah, because yes. it brings brings peace to your mind. Also. Yeah, yeah. Even when you are leaving the house, you know, you're you're leaving your house when it's clean. When you're coming back, you feel like you feel so good. Is it said that as the way that your room looks, mm -hmm. that your mind looks the same way? You know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you clean your spaces, yeah. you're also cleaning your mind. Your mind, yeah. yes. Aya, so the next question, who is more stubborn between the two of you? Stubborn? Yes, stubborn. Mm. I think we are both stubborn. Yeah, if, if some honest. things, yes. The two of you are both stubborn? I think so. Hey! Yeah. And, and for me, I naturally... Uh, me, for example, I will see something like this. For example, uh, horses. Uh -huh. Let's say I'm pulling the horse. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell Rosio, ah, Rosio, be the host we go. Uh -huh. Rosio will be like, no, 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 wait, be patient, be this. I'm like, just be this thing we go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so something like that. Uh -huh. uh, because for me, I'm like, ah, this can be easily done. If yeah. you do this, this, that yeah. is done. But for Rosio, she's like, so instead of beating the host, she'll do like, <laughs> Me, I'll beat the host, and the host will either move this way or oh, this way. But Rosio is like, we are like, yeah, come on, let's beat the horse. We need to move. Yeah. yeah no. so, hey. Yeah. So how and do you think? And says, no, 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 you don't know. Patient, horses want patience. Hey, and so how do you deal with each other stubbornness? Since the two of you are stubborn. No. Because we also have patience. Yeah. We also have patience with each other. Yeah. And I see one. that's one of the biggest things that we have towards mm -hmm. each other. It's like, patience. maybe he's in a bad mood and okay, I will tolerate him. Because also when I'm in a bad mood, he also tolerates, tolerates you. Me, you yeah. Know? So, uh, patience. So maybe sometimes, yeah, I don't I don't like his ways mm -hmm. doing something and I, I won't say anything. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. But, uh, and maybe when he doesn't like something that I do, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm in a very mad mood and when I'm in a bad mood, I'm in a bad mood. Yeah. So, I I know he is, he's patient also with me, so I think that's the, the so biggest thing. We are both patient with each other. Yeah. <clears throat> well, guys, did you know that? Patience is the key in relationships. <laughs> Even me, I'm learning. <laughs> Even me, I'm learning one or two things in relationship. Okay, so the next question, who takes longer to prepare? In case you have to go out, who takes long? 100%. Hey! No, I don't many it up. Uh -huh. Me, I just need a t-shirt and a jacket. And you are ready. But you know, because I'm also, I'm also a very fast 
in you know in when it comes to my group of friends and things like that, I'm mm -hmm. always the first one being ready. I'm not that woman yeah, that takes also ages to get ready and things like this. Yeah. But I also yeah. feel like yes, you get ready so fast, but mm -hmm. then oh, you have to do this or you forgot yes, this I and you say know, about that actually. <laughs> and that grace like delays. Like for example, this interview, I was yeah. supposed to do it early, but I had to take shower. I had to yeah, do this. yeah, yeah. For me, I'll say it's because sometimes I'm like. Uh, handling a lot of things. A lot of things that are at the same time. Yeah. I have to go and see the machine, I have to do this, I have to so that's kind of yeah. Yes. Oh wow. But if you they're all relaxed, like just to go, mm -hmm. it should take long long. But not really like long long. Long long. Yeah, because you know, like as again as Rosio, as you are, you have said, you just need your trouser, your t-shirt, you are good to go. Yeah. But for we ladies, sometimes you need like some small makeup. Yeah. You need to make sure is your hair intact. What yeah. earrings are you going to wear? Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, is what. Yeah. yeah. I don't but know. I'm very fast with that also. I yeah. It's like I don't take a lot of time, you know. Yes. Yeah. When I'm in a good day, I'm okay. I'm ready. Okay, wow. Yes. The next question: Who is more social? Some Mara, 100%. I don't think I'm so social. Yeah, that's true. Mara, 100%. Yeah. Yes. I'm very social, but I also need my moments alone. I need my privacy. I need a lot of space for me. Yeah. To kind of recharge. Yeah. He can be socializing 24 hours. And I like groups, personally. I like groups. I like to be around people. I don't know. Laughing and telling them stories. Because yeah. they're a storyteller. And I'm, I'm kind of uh, free with people, even if I'm, I'm that guy who really like, uh, for example, one guy today came, I was, not, I was supposed to tell him to go back to his home because yeah. he didn't do the job, but somehow I let him do the job. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of like say it's not that serious, so I, I let it be. Yeah. Wow, that's so good of you, Mara. And but you know, like uh, Mara, like when you say that, I remember like uh, the way you've been, the way you help other people. That's again another reason why like God always keeps on blessing you. Yeah, like today we are receiving a new motorbike. From yeah. The so you can imagine. When is it coming? Actually, like uh, it's on the way coming right now. Some way, Gitiriba went. Gitiriba went to pick it. Ish. Yes. Reading motorbike. Will you? Will you? Will you carry me? For me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So now I think when you're going to the waterfall, we go to with the motorbike. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> because guys, you're supposed to go to the waterfall with Rocio, and you have been going for like two weeks. Yeah. But yes. you guys know the direction. No. Time master. Uh, time master will take us. Yeah. Okay. Even me, I think I'll go. Yeah, yeah. we can go. So they, 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 yeah. The terrace, the fixed terrace here. Yeah. My pressure will. Will be. Yeah. Yes, yeah. the idea from the beginning, since Master K came and offered the idea, yeah. Mara told me, oh, I want to, there's a waterfall, I want to go. Yeah. But it's been months and Mara's always busy, so I, I say, can I go with Mary at least, if you're going to be busy all the time? But yeah. I hope you join us. Yeah, you can join. It's very beautiful, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guys, this is getting amazing. So, the next question, who said I love you first? Think I, I think I, I did, yes. You said, yeah. Because for them, they don't say I love you. Like, <laughs> no, we take like, ages. To we say take that. ages. Yes. And for us, you know, in Africa, we are actually even a man can suggest to you, like, I want you to be my wife. Same, same day they meet. Hey! Now, me, I've seen a lot. Like, you know, for them, since somebody says I love you, it's like a season, you know, like, like it has to go like a series. Okay, a lot of dates and la la la. Yes, and yes. We and need to be pampered, in short. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. actually, for for their culture, you uh -huh. know, white people most of the time, yeah, uh, some people say, "Oh, she's not white or something." It's okay, but for them, they take her, they take, they take their time. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Right. It can you be see, months. 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 But for yeah. us, it's more like that. For us, if you already know this is good for me, you go. You close the deal. You are like, let's go, let's do this. Yeah. And again, as a traveler, you don't have really much time to like. Like go for dates and say this because you know September should be in Africa. Before Africa, I need to go to Jamaica. Then I have to go to the US. Yeah. So you already know my time is limited. You wanna put your heart out. Yes. If things work, they work. If it's a yes, it's a yes. If it's yeah, a no, no, you say you know what? I no. at least I I it's say right. yes. Even if you are rejected. Yes. Talking of rejection, have you ever been rejected? Yes, many times. 
Be a man. Many times, yeah, yeah. Wait, you confess your feelings to a mother and rejected you? Uh, not like com- not like confessing, confessing like I'm 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 in love or something, but sometimes I I'm, I used to be like the woman that approaches yeah, the yeah. man, you know? Yeah. And or I dated I dated probably men that approached to me and and maybe they felt more things and I wanted to 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 see the person more yeah and the other side wasn't responding the same way so that's yeah. kind, of, kind of a rejection you know yeah, it yeah. Is. many t- as a traveler you met a lot of people so you yeah. have a lot of opportunities to fall in love <laughs> all the time, so, of, yeah. so yeah so rejection is also it, it comes at the same time you know yeah it's part of it it's part of it and it's a very bad feeling hey being no, rejected it's okay. It's, it's a bad feeling, but it's also it brings feeling. lesson. It brings lesson. So Me have nobody been rejected. Me yeah. have been rejected many times. But you know what I tell myself? Uh, God has decided it's not this one. Yeah. It's not on me. It's on God. Yeah. Because you see things like relationship. You meet people, you know, if they have diseases, they have bills, you know. Like it's too much beyond just you. Yeah. So, and, and now as you grow, like, you're in a serious relationship. Things like that are like divine, you know, it's God who makes them happen. Yeah, so and even people reject me, I'm like, no, it was not meant to. And sometimes also it's the feeling of rejection and feeling bad for this thing that we call rejection. Yeah. It comes more from the ego, you know? Yeah. But actually if someone says no to you, mm-hmm. it's a message to redirect yourself. That's it's to something redirection. Else it's not else. rejection, it's redirection. Okay. Yeah. This is yeah. not supposed to be it's yeah. so mine sometimes is it's our mind and our ego. Oh I want this this person so bad, you know? How can mm-hmm. you How, yeah. yeah. Something like I, that. I swear I'm I I is he the one I know, you know, but sometimes it's not your heart, it's just your mind. Yeah. It's just your mind. Yes. that creates all the, that movie yeah. so the one that gets hurt by, by rejection is the ego it's not your soul yeah, your soul ego. knows already this is not your person yeah. yeah and even me i always tell myself something if you are struggling so much on something like really much mm-hmm. you've tried your best but it's not working out you're still struggling i don't know that the day uh, that thing will come out uh, hurting you so much yeah until you're like oh man you know I think I'm a fool or something. You should make things like more, you flow the way. Yeah. Up and down, you just go, you say yes, no, you know. Yeah. Hey guys, have you ever been rejected? Tell us in the comment section. And how was it? And how did you take it also? For me, I don't know. What is your ideal type of a dinner date? Like now, Mara, you have to tell me an ideal what is the ideal type of dinner? And you tell me is ideal type of dinner. Okay. Yes. So for Rocio, uh-huh. so imagine this this house is a hotel, the way it looks here. Yes. So see like 20 other people sitting over there. And yes. Candles uh-huh. And music playing slowly. Yeah. And the waiters are passing and mm-hmm. writing down things. Uh-huh. Uh, what, uh-huh. Plus, uh, that is uh, Rocio's dinner. Eish. Yes. Uh, maybe sometimes people performing and you have to uh-huh. That is Rocio's dinner. Eish. But my dinner. Uh-huh. Uh, like Rocio's dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to hear this one now. Mm-hmm. Ma- I think Mara's idea of dinner is um, just a regular place and a plate of beans and rice. Yeah, I'm <laughs> That's my real happiness. Me, I, I, I can sit even on the road like this, people, uh-huh. pop up with everybody. Here. Some people even are fighting about a beer. Or and you are there. Beer. Hey. You know, me, when I tell myself, is I'm experiencing life. Yeah. When I look at my life, I say, me, I'm experiencing life. Yes. Not re- saying my life has to be like this, like this, like this, like this. Because what that does is... It brings expectation. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't meet those expectations, you start mm-hmm. feeling hurt. I'm feeling like maybe I'm in the wrong place. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah. Maybe I should be somewhere else there. But if you enjoy that moment or that place you are, yeah. With its good and bad, mm-hmm. trust me, even one day you'll find the best that mm-hmm. you think is the best and still miss that place over there. Yeah. Because what happens, I came to realize, most of the time, 
we don't actually enjoy where we are or the moment of our life. Mm -hmm. we, we think, oh, there is Paris, Paris will give me, you know, I can, but, but when it's Paris time, it will come. Yeah. But it's, enjoy that area, that moment, that dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me, any goes. That's why I'm not stressed. For oh, wow. me, of, I mean, yes, I'm a steady person. I like beauty. I like nice things. And the most romantic, the better for me. Yeah. Candles and this also. But I also, I like all the extremes. Like, I'm so happy drinking a beer or a juice, watching the sunset on a, on a beach. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy with that as well. Wow. But of course, I like beauty. I yeah. like very nice things, very romantic. And then, of course, I feel like that is like wow. But I'm very also very happy. Very <laughs> but I'm also very nice happy. construction <laughs> Very soon you'll give it to her. Yeah. No, but yeah. I'm also very happy when we go and we sit on the road and we eat mandasi, you know, like those are so like, okay, we are experiencing life and life includes all of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey guys, this is good, this is amazing. Okay, what is his or our favorite food? Food? Yeah. Uh, for Mara? Yeah, favorite food. Yeah, I, I say beans and rice. Beans and rice, yes, that's, that's when I'm traveling outside Africa. Uh -huh. When I'm home, I like I would, I would like uh, fish, fish, veg, and bread. Wow. Yes. When I'm home, but when I'm far away, rice, like and, rice beans. and beans. It's very simple. Very but here you're very happy also. You have beans and rice. Yeah, even here. Yeah. Yeah, I saw your Instagram post the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So Mara, what is Rocio's favorite food? To be honest, I've, I've not yet seen that Rocio's favorite food. Yeah. Because Rocio is kind of versatile. Okay. Because sometimes she would say, she, like now the other day she went to eat pizza. <laughs> I don't know if that's what she loves. Uh -huh. At the same time also, um, we've not really spent outside our home yeah. that yeah. much. Like I think for me it's easy because here we are eating the food that he is here entire life, you know, like he's normal. Yeah. It's all his part of his culture. Mm -hmm. This is his food. Yeah. So now I'm eating food that is strange and new for me. Yeah. So maybe he can notice which is my favorite food of the African food that we have here in the village. Yeah. But I don't think he has seen the options of all the foods that I, I really love. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. So guys, you're still hearing this. Next question. Who oh, is more funnier? Who is a comedian between the two of you? Yeah, I think I think Mara is most of the time in the in the funnier. Yeah. I think sometimes I think things so serious, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And he makes a joke out, out, out of, of it. everything. Yeah. And you're like, I'm serious yeah. and you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, generally, I'm, I'm a funny guy. Generally. Yeah. Generally, I'm a funny guy. Because I never take life so serious. Mm -hmm. And serious does not mean like, not, for example, uh, driving silly, no, not like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always see like, you know, today is a gift, so I should, I should embrace it and, and see the best of it. And, and actually, the worst thing that I don't like in my life is sadness and people feeling gloomy. Mm -hmm. On that tense moment, maybe Rosso is mad, I don't like that. Yeah. Because I don't know how to deal with that at all. Okay. Me, I, I, I like, I like this. Even if things are so bad, mm -hmm. there is something that can make you smile, you know? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so guys, I, I even, I know most of you guys, you know, here, Mara sometimes is a comedian. Yeah, I make jokes a lot. I remember that live stream you were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the fire extinguisher. Fire <laughs> <laughs> that life was funny. No, actually, I am extreme funny. But sometimes you realize, me, I was supposed to be a comedian, not even a YouTuber. Yeah. If, if you ask me from my inception, I mm -hmm. thought I would be a comedian. Yeah. Even my first, first videos on YouTube, they were more of a comedy. comedy. But then life went the way it is. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Guys, next question. Who falls asleep very fast? Maru. I fall asleep very fast. Yeah, you're the first one falling asleep easily. Yes. That could be true. Me, if I put myself on a bed like this. You are asleep. Are you going? Hey. Yes. Even if I find that I'm sleeping with my phone. Like, yes. And yes, you've already yes, slept. Yes. For me, I'm someone that to really fall asleep, I need to turn the lights off. There must be silence. There must be 
darkness in the ground. He can, you can sleep in the ground. You can sleep with that deep and not even. Yes. Hey. Because I think for me, what has made me become like that is when I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you find uh, like I'm staying near where there's party areas. Yeah. It's kind of warm and things are nearby. Mm -hmm. So you see those places you might you may stay in a place where there's a club, people walking in the streets, so yeah. noisy. Mm -hmm. But I have, and also sometimes I used to travel like in, by bus, train. Yeah. So this could be, actually I have no problem sleeping. Yeah. Also yes. yes. Wow. <clears throat> So guys, you have it. Tomorrow falls asleep very fast. Really? Yeah. Who wants to go out more? Proceed. Yes. Hey, yes. You want to go out more? Yes. But I, like, I like doing things. I like uh, doing activities and going out and exploring. Yeah. I'm not a static person. I get very boring. I get frustrated when everything is static and there's no movement. I yeah. need movement and activities and do this something like yes yeah wow me when i'm traveling i'm like that mm. i like to go out and see what's out there yeah. but I'm, when i'm home i kind of like i know like if for example today i go out and meet people working here i'll lose money because they yeah. know the boss is not home so they don't want to work hard mm -hmm. so so I, I feel also it's because you have a lot of obligations here in yeah, the house so but yeah. once the house is done let's see how you no, I'll yeah yeah so another question who gets annoyed easily me you yes that's true yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> me for me to really annoy me uh -huh. it takes a lot yeah. hey me me if you see like i'm really annoyed with a person uh -huh. uh, it's like uh, they have repeated what they are doing that uh -huh. thing that has made me annoyed until i'm like now what is this yeah me, I'm quite easy going. Yes. Easy going. But I can get angry. I can get angry, like really angry. Yeah. But it's like not more than 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. If, if really I feel like uh, I'm really annoyed, this mm -hmm. is, is mostly betrayal. Okay, yeah. yeah. Betrayal for me makes me really, I, I, I lose, I, when, when somebody does that to me, when I see the next person next to me, I think maybe this one will be the next one. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I tend to be more, yes, but it's very hard for me to be annoyed. Yeah. I let it go. Mm. Yeah, for like, me, I had a lot of patience also, and I'm very easy going, but in our levels, mm -hmm. if you compare me with him, yeah. He's more. He's harder to get easy. For me, I I I see the injustice maybe before him, you know, or yeah. I get I get mad for things that he doesn't see or things like this. It's like I lose I lose the patience a little bit faster than him. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, maybe we look things differently. Like uh, me, sometimes I, I ask her, has somebody died? Then she will say, you know, as ah, that's what we fix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And for me, I see more and then, things, and you then know, like... And gets really mad just because I told her like that. <laughs> but, yeah. but me, I know if somebody dies, that yeah. is the end of the story. Mm. But these other things... You can fix. Uh, we can fix. Yeah. 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 Yes. No, I like to feel emotions. All of them. All, All of, of them. them are valid for me. Uh -huh. So it's not like... The only thing that you should feel like this is somebody dies. No, for me there's also all the things that makes you feel something. Yeah. And I valid my emotions, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Rosio sometimes wants to be very emotional. Mm -hmm. And when I tell her, no, this is, you should do like this, she's like, no, I'm a woman, I have to cry, I have to, to let it... Let it go, I, yeah. Let it out. Yeah. 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 But this sometimes, it's always good like that, to release your emotions. If you feel like crying, cry it out. Yeah. Even me, if I want to cry, I will cry. Mara, see that only crying if you're somebody dies. Okay. You hey. know? And it's and not uh, being like hard. Yeah. I'm like, uh, there's nothing you can't fix. Yeah. There is nothing in this world. Mm. The only thing you can't yeah. fix is death. But I think it's also part of the culture and education. Men are teach not to cry. You cannot. You cannot cry. Yeah. And women, we are so emotional. And yes, we, we are. We collect. We are. We are receivers. So we are absorbing a lot of things. Yeah. And Crying is an amazing release. You like yeah. you you see for me you so release a lot of so. For me when I look at crying, yes it's a release of emotions, but it doesn't solve issues. Mm -hmm. Me I want like what is making me cry mm -hmm. to be fixed so you stop crying. Yeah. That is like my my goal. When I look at life in general, 
I want to fix that problem. Okay? For me, sometimes I feel like, I don't know, for example, I'm frustrated or I'm angry, you know? A man, he's angry, he can go violent. Woman, um, for me as a woman, I'm never gonna go violent. So yeah. maybe this anger, I will, I will just keep it and I'm gonna cry because I'm mad, you know? Yeah, yeah, you'll it's, cry. It's not always sadness. Sometimes I'm just, I'm mad, you know, and I'm nervous and I just wanna cry because I'm, I won't never hit anybody or things like this, you know? Yeah, I'm never yeah. go aggressive physically. Yes. So crying is the easiest way to release anger, for example, you know? Yeah. yeah. I get it now. So guys, in case like maybe and maybe the two of you have wronged each other who says sorry first mm. i think Rosie says sorry many times yeah but the thing is this uh, one thing i like about Rosie is also she's easy going even if she's crazy mad like when i tell her Rosie will come down she mm-hmm. comes down. yeah yeah that's one thing i really like about her she should be very mad yeah but same time coming down. Yeah. Yes. Everybody. Okay. okay. Yes. Oh my God! What is this? I was it not recording? Yes, guys. Continuation of the video. So you've heard. Rocio is the one that apologizes first. Yeah. No, yes. Rocio is but it depends. It depends. It depends. Yeah. 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 So guys, the next question, the last but not the least, who remembers the important dates? Sorry. Who remembers the important dates? Rosie. Me. Yeah. Yes. Because if Rosie does not tell me how to make you have a meeting, you won't a. remember. Yeah. The day we go like that. Yeah, you won't remember. Yes. Yeah. Just to remind you, hey, Marwa, today we have uh, an appointment, remember? And, um, yeah. Mostly I'll say it's because I'm, I'm juggling a lot of things. I don't know. Goats, cows, chickens, <laughs> horses, horses pigeons. Yeah, that's, uh, yes. But, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, that has been it. You've been hearing how well do they know each other. And guys, if you want to see more of these videos, maybe you go to another couple, maybe Nasto and the wife, another yes. couple that you know is in the village, you can tell me like the look up family. Maybe some questions. Maybe yeah. Yeah. You guys can ask and uh, parents will yes. Uh, yeah. So parents. yeah. So guys, if you know you have any questions that you want me to ask them in the future or maybe we don't know when, you can always leave them in the comment section and we will be gladly be ask, asking them that question. For now, you've seen how well they know each other and I was shocked you guys know each other. <laughs> you know, it's been, it's been close to six months now, half a year. Yeah. yeah. And another thing also is our relationship here and Rocio is every time we stay together. Yeah, yeah. It's not like... Oh, let me go to work. I'll come in the evening. Yeah. Let's meet on the weekend mm-hmm. because you're working. I'm working, and that's it. every day we're together. Every day, so every day, every day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you. Uh, and to meet on the next video, you can go check out Rockabreda Travels yes. and I am Marwa. All right, guys, thank you so much. And if yes. you're watching from I am Marwa, subscribe to Paris. I am underscore Paris. Yes. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.